coming to Paige Robbins? Because I'm I'm just so happy here, and everybody is so nice here. Uh, everybody. I haven't found anybody yet that I don't love. And I think the first day we did the trial, I was just overwhelmed with just happiness of this is this is a great place. This is what we need. What do you think about coming here? I love it. I was not gonna like this place. There was no way. And I wasn't here but two hours. I fell in love with all of the workers, all of the people. When I have to be out or there, but out, I miss them. When I had to be in the hospital with my hip broke, I thought, Lord, get me hit back to Page Robbins. It's a happy place. From the people who are here to the people who care for the people who are here, it is happy. Page Robbins has been so good to me. They have let me do whatever I want to do. At least lately. <laughs> and they try to pull out the very best they can in each person. They know all about them and they try to bring out the best. And, and if it's whatever's left, they're going to bring it out. <laughs> you have you ever them. have you ever done art before you got to Page Robbins? No, this is nothing, never, never. So where did this come from? I don't know. And one of the things I like about Page Robbins so much is they, it's not like an institution. It's a family situation. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of good people up here and they're, they're, they're doing good work. I'm trying to figure out is, why is it that drummers can't get paid? Paul suffered a traumatic brain injury. He was hit by a drunk driver. Before that, Paul was a very accomplished musician, had played all over the world. He loved music and was a well-respected drummer, but he's no longer able to do that. I've taken him to a music store here in Memphis, uh, set him down at a set of drums to see if he could play. He said, he looked at me, he played around a little, and then he looked at me and he said, I've lost it. He's been diagnosed with progressive dementia and um, it's just the way it is. I'm the caregiver to my beautiful mom, Sylvia. She was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's three years ago at the age of 52. When we didn't come here, she was at home all day by herself watching Kathy Lee and Hoda on the Today Show and that's just not really good for anyone's brain to do all day long. You know, she's doing things here. She's singing, she's dancing, coloring, um, just moving and to socialize when she didn't have that at home. So it's just, it's a big blessing for us and for, definitely for my mom. After a couple of years after he was diagnosed, you just kind of know when it's time, at least I did that he needed more than I could give him. So Jack started coming two days a week, that was great. And then he comes five days a week now. And he's very happy, he's bored at home on the weekends. And he's happy and I'm happy. So we can lead a full life this way. I can do what I wanna do, he does what he wants to do. Bob is a renaissance man and he's always done all kinds of things. They play cards and they, do exercise and he plays the guitar and they paint and all kinds of interesting things that I would not be doing at home with him. And we started singing Be Thou My Vision. I said, I want to do that again next week. And you, you play the music and I'll do the singing. By day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence, my light. Bill, do you like coming to Paige Robbins? Oh, uh, yes. What do you like about it? Uh, paintings. I just gave him, like, an idea and, and gave him an example of the original painting by Van Gogh. And this is what he created, and then we threw a little Santa Claus over it. And If Hallmark even knew about you. It is awesome. I'm impressed. In the big picture, when they're out here, you know, we can it, breathe. Yeah, we after, can. after we drop him off, and I know you feel the same I way. Do. 
this is this big sigh of relief, and I go get my coffee, and I just float down the highway back home. You know, he's here, I'm free, and I can get out on, or do whatever I want to do those hours. So it's just this huge relief. It is. It? Every it morning, is. it's, it's a huge relief. I struggled with that. I understood that I needed a break, but you do. You need a break. You need the comfort. You need the peace that Paige Robbins brings. Oh, they make a tremendous difference. A tremendous difference. Uh, I don't know how many uh, care facilities there are like this in the city of Memphis. I do know that in our opinion, this is a little slice of heaven.